drop top, 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 in the drop top two turntables and a mixer. Yes, it's plugged into a computer, um, but uh, for this routine, I'm doing a kind of a lot of sort of traditional turntablism kind of techniques. Um, and so I'm using the track Drop Top, which is by me, featuring Cakes the Killer. And here's how it sounds. In the drop top, in the drop top, in the drop, in the drop top, in the drop top, in the drop top. And later in the routine, I use the curl up remix of the same song. And rather than like bounce this out to stems, I'm, I'm starting just by taking the mastered track, putting it on both decks, and seeing what kind of fun I can have. So to start, uh, I just work with this, this section of the song. In the drop top. And I do this. In the drop top. In the and so the structure of this routine, it does kind of follow the song as I produced it, but in each section I'm trying to do sort of a turntableist performance version of that part of the song without getting necessarily like too crazy, um, sort of keeping the vibe but adding in a bit more scratching and, and manipulation. So I'm using the record, I'm using the crossfader here, I'm also using these pads. And these pads allow me to jump to the different spots of the song. Yo, shifty, you will. Yo, shifty. If I hit it again, I get to go to other spots. You will. Yo, shifty. So to so to start, I'm really just jumping to different parts of the song and wor working with it. So in the next part, I do something like. Yo, shifty, you will mad me for you. So beat, beat juggling techniques, uh, sort of interchanging the different sounds, and then just getting to the sections that I want to use. I use the pads to jump them, and the sticker here on the record lets me visualize those sounds. So often, what you'll see me doing is sort of reset, hold the record at 12, go to a different spot. And then this allows me to know where all the different sounds are. So I'll know that like, like when, I, when I go here and I put this at 12 on the sticker, I know the top is at like whatever, 4. So if I'm going back and forth, you'll see me do a lot. Like 12. And that whole pattern, there's a lot happening, but I know where all the sounds are by looking at this sticker here. So I know when I do that scratch, I'm going to hit this, this part here. And then boom. Yo, Shifty, you will mad me for this, yeah. Next part of the song, uh, I just do a little bit of transform scratching. So I just take a sound and I put my thumb on the fader and I just tap. But when you do a scratch like this, you want to make sure that you have control over the record too. Otherwise, it's going to sound sloppy. So I know exactly where my taps are happening relative to the record. Otherwise, it'll sound like. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. You can't watch my video and then, and then go out and do that in the world. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to, in that part, just sort of like follow the synth. <laughs> Same kind of scratch here. Yo, shift, shifty, you were madman for this, yeah. It's important in your tracks and in your routines to have a rapper say you're a madman. Uh, just makes people give you more respect. Clearly, clearly, right now, there's more respect happening. Next part of the routine, uh, what a, it gets a little more complicated. Um, what I'm doing is I'm combining beat juggling, working with the two records here. What I do is when I hit this little button over here, it takes me from controlling deck A and deck B, and now I'm controlling deck D. And here I have one-shot samples, and these pads launch each of those samples. So I really didn't bring in a whole bunch of stuff. Sometimes I'll have like 16, 32 samples that I'm working with. Here I just have three sounds. One is the snare that's a part of the track. One is a percussion noise that's part of the track. And then one, I literally dragged and dropped the mastered kick of the drop. Um, and so what I'm doing here is the idea is I'm doing a beat juggle, but then I'm doing just a little bit of drumming on top. So 
that part, what, what we're doing, so we'll set both of these at 12, like we were talking about. Um, and so it goes like this. If I didn't do the drumming, it would sound like this. And so what I'm going to do is just drum in the snare while I'm doing that. Just, just the one little snare. And what's great is the way that this mixer is laid out, the Tractor Control Z2 mixer, having the pads right next to the record, I can do things like drum with my thumb. So I could be holding the record in, spot, in, in the spot where I need to use it, and then boom, hit it with my thumb. And in the next part of the routine, I make even further use of this. And what I do is I make a short kind of weird. Yo, Shifty, you were mad man for this, yo. Yeah. I'm going to drum with my thumb, so something like But at the same time, I'm going to stop the record and have it playing, so it gives it sort of like a wavy effect and also adds this extra sound. So add the filter. Yo, Shifty, you were madman for this. Yeah. People, you're a madman. Um, so yeah, like really, the technology really helps me here because uh, it allows me to do like I can drum with my thumb and scratch with with my hand and do all sorts of fun uh, stuff like that. So that that's the first part of the routine. Any questions? I'll wait. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll move on then. So next part of the routine, uh, I use the curl up remix of this song, Drop Top by Me and Cakes the Killer. Um, and let me load in that guy over there. So I'll load it in right here. Um, and here's how the track sounds normally. Uh, but I got curl up to make me a version where on the second drop there are no vocals. So I took the vocals that were associated with that part of the song, and instead I got the, the just those on their own, the acapella, and I scratched those. And, the drop top. and go to the different spots of it. Hey, this mad cause I stay up in the limelight. Sort of pick different phrases to let, let my haters know that like they are not phasing me. They're not phasing me at all. Just I'm letting them know. But here's how it sounds without anything. Hey, this mad cause I stay up in the limelight. Sweetie, don't be mad. I just yes. been shining since my past life. Cause I stay up on my grind light And I turn it into something like And the drop top top And the drop top Hey this mad cause I stay up in the limelight And the drop top top And the drop Stay up Stay up Stay up on my grind light Stay up 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 on my grind grind Stay up And then here's how it sounds with the beat Stay up on my grind And the drop top top And the drop And the drop Hey this mad cause I stay up in the limelight you a madman for this, yeah. Just reminding people that I'm a madman. Um, and so in this part of the routine too, mostly what I'm doing is I'm taking the track as it was produced as sort of a guideline for the sort of sounds that I should try to put, to put together, but then rather just duplicating the track, try to add my own kind of flavor, my own kind of variation. So rather than it's just in the drop top, in the drop top, I can do a... In the drop top, in the drop top. Even just that little bit gives it its own kind of, own kind of flavor to it. Um, so that's how I made that routine, drop top routine. Uh, myself and Cakes the Killer curl up on the remix. I'm using turntables, tractor control, Z2 mixer, and uh, tractor. Um, and yeah, this is sort of like a lot of this is based on sort of more traditional turntablist kind of techniques, adding in a bit of new school flavor. I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, your attention span is like Mensa level crazy, and you should probably go be like a like a rocket scientist or something. So just like shut off the computer and start programming. All right, peace, I'm shifting.